uh, flow model is going to need it need to make its way to that boundary the the injection well here right next to this fractured zone and we've got this uh, these zones of uh, elevated fluid flow along the um, this main fracture that runs next to the injection well um, so we see flow heading away from the injection well in both directions along these fractures then the um, the arrows turn and follow the um, the other portions of the fracture network and the fluid makes its way to the boundary again these are all initial conditions this is the um, distribution of the tracer species again we're using bromide to uh, to do this for um, after 40 days of injection over here on the left and then after 100 days of injection uh, over here on the right um, the contours on here are color-coded to um, to uh, depict the areas of high concentration low concentration of bromide and as you can see, you have um, uh, the highest concentration of bromide are, of course, associated with the injection well location. But then you can see bromide following along with the flow paths indicated by the arrows um, and then following um, various sets of fractures making its way to the uh, boundary. At 100 days, that pattern uh, uh, intensifies. And again, you can see um, that the, the bromide distribution is not completely uniform, but is following uh, some of the um, the fractures in this particular model.